Have you been inside some of these expat groups? It is downright scary. Let me show you how to navigate the shark infested waters of expat groups so that you don't get bitten. Stay tuned. Yeah. Hey there, Kelly here and welcome to A Slice of My World. So if you guys have been around my channel for a while, you know that I've been to various countries. Um, when I first initially left the US permanently, I went to Nicaragua and then I moved to Thailand for a few years. And now I live in Merida, Mexico, currently sitting in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, but I live in Merida, Mexico. And during those um, times I did research and I used the expat groups because those are boots on the ground as some of my resources um, to be able to navigate and figure out, you know, and find things once I got to where it was that I was going and ask questions that were really helpful before I decided on, um, you know, moving into a particular city or a particular country. Now, what I have found is it seems that there's always someone in there that is miserable, bored, looking to be offended, looking to offend, um, pushy. There's all of these things and it could get really, really vicious. And, you know, for those of us that really just want the information, you know, we're, we're like, we just want the facts. We don't really want all of this extra nonsense. It can really be discouraging and it can make you just kind of wonder if the place that you're going to is going to um, be filled with a bunch of idiots, <laughs> for lack of a better term. But trust me, there are those of us in these places that are willing to help and that are not crazy. And misery does love company. So I try not to engage um, <clears throat> in the, the nonsense and shenanigans that happens in many of the expat groups. However, I find that a lot of times what ends up happening is someone will show up, they're brand new, they'll ask a question, the sharks will come out, and then they will leave the group. And I don't recommend that, especially a group that's got you know thousands of people in it, because it is so much valuable information that actually is in those groups. So I'm gonna share my screen with you guys, and I'm gonna use one of my favorite groups, so this is not me picking on them or whatever, because they're wonderful. Um, but I'm going to use this group as the example so that I don't, you know, offend other group folk. <laughs> All right, let's jump right into it. Okay, so I am going to use one of my favorite groups, uh, a group that I happen to be a group expert in. And also I know that if I use them as the example, nobody's going to get their panties in a knot. Um, and also just kind of, you can just know that whatever it is that I'm showing you, in this particular group where the waters are not shark infested because the admins make sure to keep the vibe just right, that you can use this in any group and you can definitely use it in your um, expat groups where you're seeing where there's a lot of friction, where people want to be offended, where they want to troll, where they're just miserable and you really just don't really want to engage, but you want to be able to have the information. So one of the first things that I would say is scroll down the right side and see if your group has topics. So this particular group does have topics. Whenever someone posts something that is helpful, the admins will often go in and they will add a topic to that discussion. And this will be helpful when you are, um, <clears throat> excuse me, when you're doing your search. So I'm just going to click see all on the topics here. And um, you all, please bear with me because one, I'm on borrowed internet and which is shared. And also because I'm recording my screen, things may move a little bit slower than usual. So please bear with me. So as you can see, this particular um, pay or group has all these various topics. So you've got recommendations, events, restaurants, living in Merida, on and on and on. So if you were looking for health and well wellness referrals, you could click on this. It's going to bring up all of the different posts that the admins have flagged that are underneath this, um, this banner, so to speak, underneath this topic discussion. So healthcare and wellness referrals. So you're going to see uh, a lot of things here that are in that category. So again, notice you didn't have to interact with any of the members 
in order to be able to do this. You're able to get that information that you need right away. Okay. Now the other thing, let's go back to the group. The other thing that is very helpful that a lot of people don't seem to utilize, but it is probably one of the most important things that you can use to find different things that you need in the group. And that happens to be the, uh, the spyglass here. So if you don't, if your group does not have where topics are singled out, or if you don't see what you need in that particular, um, you know, line of topics, you can always go and use the spyglass and you can put in, let's say doctor, uh -oh, might want to spell it right though. Um, and then everything that has something to do with a doctor is going to be brought up for, you know, for you to see and to be able to kind of get an idea of what is there for you to get, you know, for you to be able to, again, click on like this one here, getting healthcare in Mexico, even though I mentioned, you know, doctor, and then they talk about dentist, optometrist, and so on and so forth. So again, you're able to find things that you need without having to interact with people inside of the group and you're still able to get vital information and this is why i say don't leave those groups especially if they've got thousands of members because there really is a lot of great resources within the group the other thing that happens in the groups is let's say you saw something and it really did have um you know it caught your attention but people got snarky and you really didn't want to go through and start blocking people and you didn't engage or, you know, or you might've engaged early on in the post before it went off the rails. Well, let me show you how to disengage, if you will, without being confrontational, so to speak. So let's just say that this particular person's post, um, it, it got, you know, where people started making ugly comments or whatever, you can turn the notifications off for this post. And then that way you don't have to be bothered with people being asses, to be honest with you. Uh, the other thing that you could do, let's say that the original poster was the person that was the problem. And it is a highly offensive, um, uncalled for post that you feel you can simply report that post to the group admins and it'll flag that and send it to a special place, uh, behind the scenes, so to speak, where they can see that and address it. And then that way you don't have to go in and engage in the snarkiness, you know, so that is a way for you to keep your, your blood pressure down and still get what you need and still enjoy the groups. Now, let's say that you're down here in the, the, you know, the group and somebody down here, it wasn't the original poster, but somebody down here got on your nerves. You can simply click the three dots by their comment and by their name and you're going to get a menu. You can hide their comment so that you don't see it. And you can also report the comment to the group admins. So it doesn't have to be the original post. It can actually be a comment. Okay. And lastly, let's say that you made a comment and someone said something that was just uncalled for. And you really, again, don't want to be bothered with that person. If you hover over that person's name, even if they're not friends with you, you can click these three dots here. Uh oh, it did its own little, what is it doing? Stop it. <laughs> you can hover, click the three dots, and it will allow you to block that person. You'll still be able to see everything else in the thread. You just won't be able to see what that person posted. I'm not going to block her because she ain't said nothing bad. She fine with me. Um, but those are ways that you can kind of navigate through this. Now, let's just say that this person says something and you're like, ooh, I really want to you know, follow up with that. I want to know what else everybody else is going to add to that, but I really don't, you know, necessarily want 9 million notifications. Instead of, you'll, you'll often see people, they'll post a little dot or they'll post following so that they stay updated, but you don't have to do that. You can click these, um, these three dots here and you can save this post. So when you go to click and save this post, let me show you you're going to get where you can either create a new collection or you can, you know, if you've got collections already, you can put it in the collections and you can decide if you see your collections or if your friends see your collections or if your collections are public, just like your posts. 
Okay, so I'm going to come out of this. And then once you save it, where you find it is you click on the Facebook icon and it's going to give you that long menu along the left side of your screen. And that's going to happen at some point. All right, here we go. And then here you'll see like all of this stuff here, groups, marketplace pages, and you've got a see more um, button here. Now I got a lot of nonsense. I don't know why, but I just do. Um, but you can scroll down and here you have saved and you click on that and everything that you have saved will pop up. Okay. And that way you don't have to necessarily be engaged in the conversations. You can still find what it is that you want. You can still hold on to valuable resources and you don't have to involve yourself in the shark infested waters. You are on a boat. <laughs> you don't even have a lifesaver. You are on a boat. So you are not in the water at all at this point. So hopefully this has helped. All right. So hopefully that has helped you guys. You know, like I said, put you in the boat, get you out of the water, stop, you know, looking for your foot to be eaten off because people have lost their minds and they're bored and they, they're just miserable and looking for that company to go with that misery. So um, a lot of times, the only time I will post in um, a lot of the expat groups that are notorious for having shark infested waters, I either really, really can't find what it is that I'm looking for, having Googled it, having looked for Facebook pages and groups, um, you know, having done as much research, look for blogs, whatever that is, YouTube videos. Like I look everywhere in a lot of cases before I will finally just give in and go to the um, actual group. Also on days that I post, I'm kind of prepared. Like I mentally prepare that I'm probably going to have to block some folks or deal with some nonsense and, you know, and then I get ready for that. So hopefully this has helped you guys. If you enjoyed this content, please make sure that you like and subscribe. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. And I will see you guys in the next one. And I hope that you have an amazing day, evening, morning, whatever it is for you. Talk to you soon. Ciao. Yeah. Yeah.